Hey, hi friends. I'm Harshit from Agitech Studio. Uh, today we will look at how to speed up Windows 10 when it has become a bit slow. Right, a lot of times I have faced this problem myself and at the time I have tried out a few steps which I'm going to share today. Right, and these are like very very simple steps which any one of us can do. Right, we just have to type some uh, simple things in the search bar and do a few very simple things. So let's go to straight to the computer and try them out. So first of all, I think the best way to start off is to first of all clean up the uh, temporary files. So let's try and put the run command here, just open the run window and just try type percentage, temp percentage. This will open up all the temporary files which are present on the system, right? And then we can just do a control A and shift delete, press shift plus delete keys on your computer. Control A and then shift delete. So it will delete all of these files and which it cannot do it will just say skip it will just say skip for those right so this will just delete and free up a lot of storage on our machine right and then uh the other thing that we can actually do is we can actually delete a lot of prefetch files so let's let it complete uh in that time, yeah. so the remaining files it cannot delete because those might be in use right now by the Windows system. So just type prefetch here, right? As soon as we type prefetch, and then we can write prefetch here as well. So it will open a lot of prefetch files. Just say continue to give admin permissions, right? And then just do control A, shift delete, right? Delete all these files, right? And do skip for all the current items which cannot work. So this is done, right? So um, these are the two things. Then the other very important thing is that we can actually go and actually check for Windows updates. So just type for check for updates and your Windows also should be up to date uh, because sometimes a previous version of the update might be slowing it down. So let's see if uh, right now our machine has any update pending. So when you go to check for updates, it will show uh, if any kind of update is pending. So if you see on my machine as well, there is version 20 to pending. So once we do all of it, we need to just, uh, I think uh, you might need to sometimes download the update and then restart so that it is installed the update. I'll not restart my machine right now to complete this video. But yeah, this is the third step. The fourth step is also very important to actually remove the, basically select which background apps we want to actually remove so just go to the search bar and type background apps right and then it can we can actually go and select which background apps we want to um uh, let let them run and which we want to stop so it will just take a moment to load um let's wait for one more moment i don't know sometimes windows takes a bit of time Yeah, so here what we can do is we don't need to actually, uh, we can, if you want to close all of these, uh, basically choose which apps can retrieve, receive info notifications and stay up to date. It will keep taking memory in the background and it will keep taking processor and a bit of RAM in the background, which will keep going on the machine. So if you can, you can check which ones you want, which ones you don't want, right? If you uh, see appropriate that all of these, you can uh, just uh, switch to off. You can just do a toggle here directly. Right. For me, I actually want some of these apps like camera for my meetings, Cortana for basically doing some of the aspects of the voice search in the search bar. Right. And then uh, Microsoft Store for downloading apps. OneNote, I just want to keep syncing to get the latest updates from my team. Windows security. Right. So I think these are good enough for me. So I'll just keep these. Right. And rest, I turn everything off. So, for example, mail and calendar. I don't want my mail to take up the space because I might be using some other mail. This is the mail uh, app from Microsoft. I am using Outlook. This is not the Outlook version. This is the mail and calendar app on Windows. So I just would, uh, want to switch this off, right? So this is the fourth step. The other thing that we can do is the step four, which is on the task manager, we can actually go to check the startup, the startup apps. So when you go here, there are a lot of startup apps which you can enable and disable. I have already disabled most of them. But as you can see, at startup, I don't want to, for example, start uh, Microsoft Teams or the OneDrive or uh, iTunes, Helper, Skype. So I can just click here and enable and disable them. 
right? So just disable whatever apps you're not using and you don't want at the startup to start because all these apps will actually make the startup very slow. So this is the fourth step, right? Another thing that you can do is sometimes the viruses might also be slowing down your machine. So just in the search bar type Windows uh, security, right? And then click on Windows security app. And then we can just scan for viruses and see if anything is actually causing uh, the slowness of the machine, right? So here we can go to virus and threat protection and do a quick scan here. So if anything is there on the machine, which is causing uh, the uh, machine to behave slowly, which is like a virus or something, right? So this will identify it here. Uh, so let's see. So this will keep on running, right? So like mostly like till that time starting, we're gonna actually talk about a few things what we decided discussed, right? So one was about deleting temporary files, pre-patch pre -patch files, and then checking for updates and downloading the update and then restarting the machine, right? And then we looked at background apps and switching them off so that they don't take on and keep on making the uh, windows slow. And then the startup apps, and then we are doing a quick scan to see the viruses. Right. The other things which might be leading to slowness of machines is that you should also be checking for like what is the current processes running on your machine. And you should see what is the CPU memory and this consumption here. IT should not be very high, like memory 70-80% is fine, but this is the RAM. Disk should be low, like around 20-30%, not like higher than that. Actually, means the hard disk is actually doing a lot of data transfer. So just look at the processes, just click here and see which processes are trying to read the um, hard disk and this is the CPU. So which processes are taking out the most CPU, which we can see here. So right now the anti-malware service is running. That's why it's taking a lot of time. Zoom meetings is on uh, because I'm recording using that. So I think these are all fine. So if you see any kind of uh, app, which is like, which you're not using and you want to close, so just click on that and actually you can then add task, right? So that way, for example, let's choose something uh, uh, let's choose an app here, which I don't want, and I want to close. So alert us, uh, stop alert. I don't know. This looks like some third-party app. I can just click on this and do end task, right? So this will go away. Right now, it's no longer there. So this way, you can actually just uh, close the apps and processes which you don't need it anymore. And this will actually uh, free up a lot of CPU memory and disk usage which will really make us um, computer faster. So let's see if this is complete. Uh, this is still taking a few more seconds, but as you can see, it has scanned like almost 21,000 files here. Also other thing uh, in the meanwhile that you can do is you can actually go to your PC, right? And then actually go to PC and then do check just that if you have enough memory on your uh, hard disk left. So in my case, it is around 90 GB, but uh, sometime back it was only like few, GB is left, so I just cleaned up my C drive, right? So this is one more way to check if your C drive or the computer memory is, hard disk memory is full, then you actually need to go and delete uh, and free up storage there. To free up storage on Windows 10, there are a lot of ways. I'll create a separate video to do that, but uh, like this is one more step that you can check to see if this is going down your machine or not. So whenever like the memory is uh, full, like the hard disk memory is full, um, it will also lead to like virtual memory issues and also the processes will not get the uh, uh, memory or the space where they can put the temporary files. So this will also slow down the machine, right? So I think these are like some of the very simple and easy things that we can quickly check. Anyone can do this. And I think doing all of these also will speed up the system quite a bit, right? So just try this, right? And um, hopefully this will really help. If you like the video, please subscribe and share and have a great day. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye.